Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good day to all of you. Thanks for watching our video and we hope our sharing might be beneficial in expanding knowledge of innovation. So here we are, an innovation team from Sekolah Menengah Sains Tongku Jaffa will be presenting about our project that is the potential of Ficus Karika leaf extract as a natural preservative for chilled chicken ground meat. But before that, I would like to introduce you to my team members and our teacher advisor that is Miss Nurushwada followed by other members that is me Muhammad Adam Shahmi, Nur Afifah, Sudarshan Raja, Muhammad Arif Imran, Arish Nabil Ahana, and lastly Amari Kwan bin Karul Iswan. Next, I would like to call upon the next presenter. Moving to the problem statement. Ground chicken meat is highly perishable product due to its biological composition. Problems occur as chilled fresh chicken meat just can last for 1 to 2 days in refrigerator. To prevent or delay the microbial growth, antimicrobial have been utilized for many years in meat and meat products such as butylated hydroxyanisole, butylated hydroxytaluene, tertiary vinyl hydroquinone, and other similar things, but those are very harmful for human health. That is why the growing concern about food safety has led to the development of natural antimicrobials. Ficus carica is one of the traditional medicinal plant and food additives that exhibit excellent active bacterial activities, again tested gram-positive and gram-negative bacterial. Various scientific studies have documented the use of Ficus carica extract as preservatives in meat system, but there was no practice of Ficus carica leaves as natural preservatives, specifically for chicken ground meat stored in chilled refrigerator. There are three parameters used to monitor the asset preservation. Number one is total viable count. Number two is organoleptic testing, which is color and odor. And the physicomical testing, which is finish water. Moving on to the preparation of the extract, begin with Number one, collecting the thick leaves. Number two, wash them truly. Number three, tear them into small pieces. Number four, dry them into the hot oven. Number five, ground in the leaves into the mixer grinder to produce the product leaves filter again as a final product. So here is the sample preparation. Chicken meat were bought from the market and all visible fat and connective tissue of meat were trimmed off as far as possible and with the, with the help of knife and the sample was cut into small pieces. Then, whole sample was cleaned with the distilled water. Three different groups that is controlled TO, T1 and T2 of chicken meat each contained about 10 grams of of meat were prepared. In addition, 1 gram and 2 gram of fig leaf extract were added to T1 and T2 groups respectively. So, control TO were prepared without using any natural preservative. The different groups were packaged in different seal bags and stored in a refrigerator. So, the sample was drawn every alternative day, that is day 3 and day 9 and analyze for different preservation parameters. Next, let's move to the results. The results are all based on the parameters that we use to monitor the preservative. Firstly, let us see the effect of the preservative on the microbial population. As we can see on the first graph, T0 has the highest reading of microbial count. It is because it doesn't contain any preservative. Whereas T2 that have the highest amount of preservative had an increasing number of microbes in day 9 but it's still lower than the other two samples. Hence, it proves that this preservative can prolong the shelf life of the chicken meat in chilled storage. Next is the organoleptic test. Based on the second graph, we can see T2 has scored the highest sensory point whereas T0 has the lowest. It is because T0 
has an unpleasant color and odor whereas T2 has a better one than it. This result proves again that Ficus carica is working as a preservative. Lastly is the pH value. Graph 3 shows that the pH value had an increasing trend throughout the storage period in all three samples. But on day 9, we can see that T2 has a higher pH value than T1. It is because the last pH value increase might have been due to the liberation of ammonia compound as a result of endoprotease activity or the proteolytic microbial flora present in the raw meat. At the end, we can conclude that first, the ficus carica leaf extract are effective in checking the microbial growth during the storage. Second is the color. The color was affected significantly by treated groups compared with the control group. The observed order scores were in agreement with the indicators for lipid oxidation in raw chicken meat. Lastly, the T1 group showed T1 maintained the lowest pH values. In conclusion, the extract is more effective and produce a better result in terms of physical chemical characteristics, oxidative stability, and microbiological parameters during chicken ground meat preservation. Therefore, the meat chicken industry can effectively use this extract to improve color and minimize oxidation, induce deteriorative change in raw chicken meat emulsion without compromising the sensory attributes. Market value The end product is cost around 29 United States of cents per bottle, which is 400 grams, as calculated from 500 grams of ficus carica leaf which is around 24 United States of cents and also the bottle packaging only in around 24 United States of cents. The huge production of this extract might even help to prolong the shelf life of the ground chicken meat during the exporting period with condition of chilled refrigerator or without using the artificial preservative.